My name is Deborah Wing Sproul. I'm an artist who works um, primarily with my body um, in sculpture, photography, and video. I was a dancer for a long time and a choreographer. And it took me, once I left dance, it took me quite a while to come back to working with my body and understanding how that was going to be different than dance. In both this work, Misconstructions, and in the project that immediately preceded it, Situational Positions, I'm interested in using my body in ways that engage with struggle, engage with situations that are fixed, and how I can adapt my body to navigate that struggle how to realize both what my own limitations are, but also what the possibilities are within that condition. I'm interested in the intersection of the limitations of perception perspective and the reality and possibilities of experience within a given context or condition. Misconstructions was born both out of the particular space here at Speedwell, but also because I've been wanting to engage with a staircase for quite a long time. Not only is a staircase a beautiful device for considering perspective, but is also a clear yet multi-dimensional device for approaching movement. As with most all of my performance-based projects, whether it be live performance, video, or photography, I generally set rules or limitations for myself as a way of entering the work using structured improvisation exploring possibilities within set parameters. The staircase affords me the opportunity to further address the subject of perspective while allowing my exploration of movement to move up off the floor. The staircase is incredibly dysfunctional. It doesn't lead us to anywhere. There is no destination. There's no way to even stop or land at the top. The idea of a staircase is, is that it ascends, you know, that you know, the staircase can be considered a metaphor for advancement, right? For moving up, for moving through, for moving forward. Ideas involving perception and perspective come up a lot in my projects. As we see something, some evidence of a thing or an event, we often assume we understand it. Instead of ascending to a landing floor or room, this situation more invites falling because of the precarious conditions. I'm interested in that instability and the associated discomfort. I don't think that we can understand things or people or the world without shifting our perspective. And it might look like these postures are either ridiculous or simple or nonsensical, but a person can only really begin to understand what the postures are or what they might have been if they consider the, the sculpture as well. So there's the fixed point of the camera, viewer, or limitation of perspective, perception. There's the experience and limitation of my body, what my body can or can't do in this situation. And there's the condition of the sculpture. The physical presence of the sculpture adds much more information to the reading of the photographs. The sense of risk, peril, or uncertainty becomes more evident. The precariousness of the condition becomes palpable. The reason why it's important to me that the sculpture be present for the photographs is that I want visitors to see that it is a precarious situation. The treads are not solid. There's plenty of opportunity for my foot or my arm to get caught, to get trapped, even to break. But metaphorically, I find it a useful tool for examining what discomfort does. Being uncomfortable, being uncertain, being precarious is the gap where I think understanding or empathy can happen.